two of the ISIS killers responsible for Kayla Mueller's murder were brought to justice in the United States. Jihadi John was killed on the battlefield along with the other beetle. The reality is that when Joe Biden was vice president, we had an opportunity to save Kayla Miller. It breaks my heart to reflect on it, but the military came into the Oval Office, presented a plan. They said they knew where Kayla was. Baghdadi had held her for 18 months, abused her mercilessly before they killed her. But when Joe Biden was vice president, they hesitated for a month. And when armed forces finally went in, it was clear she'd been moved two days earlier. And her family says with a heart that broke the heart of every American that if President Donald Trump had been president, they believe Kayla would be alive today. When President Trump and I took office, America had gone through the slowest economic recovery since the Great Depression. It's when Joe Biden was vice president, they tried to tax and spend and regulate and bail our way back to a growing economy. President Trump cut taxes across the board. Despite what uh, Senator Harris says, the average American family of four had $2,000 in savings in taxes. And with the rise in wages that occurred, most predominantly for blue collar, hardworking Americans, the average household income for a family of four increased by $4,000 following President Trump's tax cuts. But America, you just heard Senator Harris tell you, on day one, Joe Biden's gonna raise your taxes. I'd love to respond. Look, um, lost the trade war with China. Joe Biden never fought it. Joe Biden has been a cheerleader for communist China through over the last several decades. And, and again, Senator Harris, you're entitled to your opinion. You're not entitled to your own facts. When Joe Biden was vice president, we lost 200,000 manufacturing jobs. And President Obama said they were never coming back. He said we needed a magic wand to bring them back. In our first three years after we cut taxes, you, rolled back president. regulation, unleashed American energy, this administration saw 500,000 manufacturing you, jobs yes. created. And that's exactly the kind of growth we're going to continue to see as we bring our nation through Thank you, this president. pandemic. Yes. But a Green New Thank Deal, you, your Vice massive president new Pence. mandate, your Paris Climate Accord, it's going to kill jobs this time, just like it killed jobs. I'm, 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 I, I just we literally have spared no expense to help the American people and the American worker through this. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want to raise taxes. They want to bury our economy under a $2 trillion Green New Deal, which you were one of the original co-sponsors of in the United States Senate. They want to abolish fossil fuels and ban fracking, which would cost hundreds of thousands of American jobs all across the heartland. And Joe Biden wants to go back to the economic surrender to China, that when we took office, half of our international trade deficit was with China alone. And Joe Biden wants to repeal all of the tariffs that President Trump put into effect to fight for American jobs and American workers. Joe Biden says democracy is on the ballot. Make no mistake about it, Susan. The, the American economy, the American comeback is on the ballot with four more years of growth Thank you, and opportunity, Thank four you, more years of President Donald Trump. 2021 Thank is going you, to be President. the biggest economic year in the history of this country. Thank you, Vice Once Come again, on, gave a non-answer. Joe Biden gave a non-answer. <laughs> trying to answer you the now. American people deserve a straight <laughs> answer. And, and if you haven't figured it out yet, the straight answer is they are going to pack the Supreme Court if they somehow win this election. The, Men and women, I, I, I got to tell you, people across this country, if you cherish our Supreme Court, if you cherish the separation of powers, you need to reject the Biden-Harris ticket. Come November the 3rd, re-elect President Donald Trump, and we'll stand by that separation powers in a nine-seat Supreme Court.